Hi Weber fans, so today we're going to be baking a banana cake on the baby Q. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Now don't forget everything you use in my video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipe will be down there as well. Right, so in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is cooking a banana cake on the Baby Q. Now you can do this on the Weber Q, the Weber Kettle, you can even do it on the Weber Genesis. All you need is that indirect cooking system. Now with the Baby Q, we're gonna be using the confection cooking system and setting it up with the convection tray and the trivia. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Before we dive in and make this banana cake, there's a few utensils you're gonna need. So first up, you're gonna need a hand mixer or a stand mixer. You're gonna need a loaf tin and a mixing bowl. Now everything you use in the video today, there will be links in the description below, so make sure you check those out. So what we'll do now is dive in and grab our ingredients, and then we'll start making the banana cake. All right, so I'll quickly go through the ingredients that we've got. You're gonna need some brown sugar or some caster sugar. You need some eggs some allspice, some self-raising flour, and the star of the show, some ripened bananas. So we'll dive in, get this cue lit, and start making this banana cake. So first up we've got two bananas, and we're just gonna mash these on a plate with a fork. So now we've got our bowl, we're gonna add six ounces of sugar. Now you can use caster sugar, I'm using brown sugar today. And six ounces of butter. Just to make it easy for the mixer, we've diced it up into pieces. So now we're gonna mix this together with a mixer until it's combined. Now don't forget everything you use in my video today, there are links in the description below. Now we're going to add our flour and we're just going to sieve it through with our sieve, which gets air into the mixture or using one of these. So just make sure there's no lumps. Right, so mix your flour in by hand first, because you don't want it flying out everywhere. So just get the mixture out and just mix it around gently. And then we're going to do it slowly to combine all that mixture together with that flour. So now we're gonna add one teaspoon of allspice and mix that and combine it into that mixture. So now we've got our baking tin. You can line it with baking paper, but we've just sprayed this with some oil and we're just gonna add our mixture to there. Our mixture's in our loaf tin and it's time to get this on the queue. We've set our queue up to a medium heat and that's around 180 degrees Celsius 
356 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna cook this for around 45 minutes to an hour or until a skewer is put in and comes out clear. So let's get this banana cake on the queue. Our cake's come out and it smells divine. We're gonna leave it for 10 minutes in the tin just to cool down before we transfer it to a cooling rack. And once it's cool, we'll give it a taste test. Now don't forget everything you use in my video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. As you can see that cake turned out really moist and tasted beautiful. It goes superb with some custard on the side, the kids enjoyed it and it's a great recipe to follow. Like I said, you can do it on the Weber kettle, you can do it on the Genesis and you can even do it on this cues I've done today. You just need that convection cooking system so if you could use the convection tray and the trivet to get that cooking system or you use an indirect heat on your Genesis or your kettle. Make sure you keep that temperature around the 180 degrees Celsius mark, 356 degrees Fahrenheit and it will come out perfect. So you can see all the benefits of cooking on your barbecue outside. You haven't got that heat in the kitchen in the summertime and it's a fantastic way to cook those meals. Especially with a baby Q, it's fantastic for camping and you can see there's a lot of recipes you can do while you're out and about camping, whether you're a caravan or a camper. So again, those new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content and contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any comments. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is a cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. fantastic for a cat when you so with the web of baby q so what we'll do is dive into today's video <laughs>